Hello. We're at a funny angle. And the table is entirely and utterly clean. How very, very peculiar. These things really don't happen very often in this show. But that's because I don't want to crawl around the floor today for today's wonderful, amazing, beautiful setup. Because today, these are not required. Scary, isn't it? No. Today, we're looking at the Hot Wheels Criss Crush Crash Set from 1993. Yes, I managed to get my hands on one of these, and I'm very pleased. And uh, because I wanted to set it up on the table, we cleared the entire space, and we're trying this different angle on my brand new second-hand charity shop tripod. Hooray! I'm really good at this. But yes, the Hot Wheels Criss Crush Crash Set. High risk racing with motorised hit and miss action. Couldn't see that because of the tape. Crash zone with four terrifying intersections and awesome speed boo. Variable speed control. You, I know me, set the speed. Includes three Hot Wheels cars. There are three cars in here, but they're not the original ones, sadly. But who cares? Over 16 feet of non-stop thrills. Look how excited these children are. Hello, I'm standard white kid from the 90s. I'm so excited. Hello, I'm standard token black kid from the 90s. I am also excited. Hello, this is a set and things are happening. We are excited. Hooray. Also, it's... Uh, plus, pull out coupon inside. Good for all purchases of Duracell brand batteries. Mmm... Requires two D-cell alkaline batteries. I know you can't read that. Two sized alkaline batteries, which are not included. Attention, blah, 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 blah. There was something here as well, which I'm going to assume was the um, uh, battery coupon. Cars with tyre screeching sounds. The cars that would have come with these, I assume would have had some kind of rubber on them to create a car sound. It's got that sort of 90s wheel design there. Hot Wheels track system. Now, the whole thing is inside here, obviously, and I'd like to look at the back. So I'm going to do what all good YouTubers do. And, um, well, you're going to hate me for this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Right, let's have a look at the back. Uh, we'll just balance it here. Add more cars, more cars, more crashes. Crisscross crash, high risk racing with motorized hit and miss action. Dangerous crash zone, near misses crashes, clean getaways. Four intersections for four times the hit and miss action. Now, this is something I'd like to really build on. I'd really like to start trying to get the sets from this period so I could actually do something like this. This would be fantastic. Which led to a different part that's going to appear in this video later on. Although, if you've read the title, you probably already know what it is. 14 foot, a double figure 8 track. Hold on. 14 foot. 16 foot. I'm going to assume that they count the, uh, the, the actual spinner. How long can you last before you crash? I don't know. I've not used this particular set. Um, my experience of crisscross crashes are uh, not very high, so uh, not particularly long, I'm going to assume. Now, let's... Uh, let's uh, I've actually still got the baggie, so I'm going to put this over here so it doesn't get lost. Uh, lots of bubble wrap that came with it. This was well packaged, you know, credit to the uh, eBay seller who sold this to me on the cheap. Let's have a quick look at what one of the back says. It says Mattel Inc. 1985. Yeah, they said this. I'm pretty sure the set itself is from 1993. They all say 1985 on the back. And we have our instruction manuals, which I am going to have the fun task of going through and putting the actual track together, which you get to watch in real fast time. Yay! Fast time. Ah, yeah, the speed control, that. That's, um, interesting. This already has batteries, and it came with batteries, but I have brought replacements, just in case. Oh, there you go, there's your Duracell thing. Save 50 cents on any purchase of Duracell battery sizes. God, back in 1993, you could buy a house for 50 cents. And Donald Trump was still an arsehole. Um, yeah, here we go, here's what we got. Track connectors, cars. The cars are the only things that are missing. Although there are three cars. I'm going to put the instructions aside. These three are the three that came with the set. Um, as I said, they're not the original ones. I think this is the oldest one. I have looked. Uh, this one is 1993. So that's the closest to an original one we have. This one is 1999. Nice Ferrari. And this one's 2007, I think. So this one's newer. So yeah, they're the cars that have come with the set. And we will be using those. I've also got a selection of three random cars from three different makes here as well. And we'll be opening a brand new Hot Wheels as the, uh, uh, the test vehicle. Let's have a quick look at the intersection. 
Got some Panasonic batteries in it right now. Um, I have brought replacement D-cells, so we can use those if necessary. It's pretty standard thing. They're foamy, foamy rubberized. Well, not the rubberized, they're foam entirely. And they have a slider switch, so you can increase. The aircraft has taken off. You can increase how fast they go. And if we, uh, you know, just test it. Oh, I hope I put it the right way and grab the right car. You can uh, fire! This is going to be fun, isn't it? So let's get on with the building phase. So there we go. That took quite a long time to set up, much longer than um, I was anticipating, if I'm honest. Um, its construction was awkward. These early designs with the plastic um, little bits to connect the actual track um, were very awkward to get around to and eh, a pain in the arse, really, if I'm totally honest. But at the same time, because all the stickers have been placed correctly, you may have noticed I put these in the wrong places at first, especially on that one. Uh, they go quite well. Uh, it's larger than I thought it was, um, truthfully. Uh, I could believe that being 16 feet, no issues whatsoever of crashing fun. And there's only really one way to kind of get on and test it. So I'm going to turn it on full blast and uh, put a car through. And hopefully it will get through an entire rotation without any mess ups. Let's go with the one that would have come from the time. Ready? Well, it's getting around. Let's put another one on. Oh, no, he's... <laughs> well, he came off as soon as another car placed on the track and ended up all the way over here. That's um, awkward. Now, that was on full power as well. Now, he did run, to be fair to him, he did continue to run. And now he's gone. Now... Gone as well, not what I was expecting. Let's break out what would be deemed the big guns. The brand new car. Um, a Ford Mustang GT. Brand new cars are always good for these sorts of things. Don't know how old those Panasonic batteries are as well, so let's... Uh... Let's be useful and get some of the preparation that we had got with some new Kodiak batteries, because those Panasonics were in it when I brought it. Now, opening this was a pain in the ass. There we go. There's holes in the bottom that you can push the batteries through. I don't think you can see my fingers. Now, truthfully, I was expecting this to run better than it has been running, which is um, a little bit of a shame, but uh, we'll put some new batteries in. Yes, you do. We'll try a brand new car, and we'll see if we can get a couple of cars running at the same time. One of the major problems this um, whole set design falls with is that when a car goes through, the spinners are temporarily slowed down ever so slightly, just a little bit. And if another car goes through there, obviously they receive less power. Let's try the new car. That bloody went well, wouldn't it? Well, it's going. No, there we go. No. 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 
You may have noticed that we're losing a lot of cars right now. Because they don't have the power. They've all got stuck up there. They don't have the power to get along. These two are fighting. No, he's stuck up there now. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is not. This, he says, as he moves to collect toy cars lost to the eons of time and falling, was not what I had expected. Now, there's more to this video than just this one crisscross crash set. I have no idea where that new car went. Oh my goodness, it's probably under the table. I'll find it in a minute. Because when I was in the charity shop the other day, I came across this crisscross set from recent. This, as far as I'm aware, is the most recent version of the crisscross crash set, uh, which I have set up and experimented with quite a lot before I built the set that we've just done. Uh, and it also has its fairly serious flaws. Um, one of the biggest ones for me being these. Where though, now that I've seen the other crisscross crash set and the way cars like to fly off the track, I understand why they're here. But yes, um, when I set the other one up, I was expecting the other one to be far superior because of its design of a longer track, more leeway. Non-rubberized, because these are completely rubberized, pretty much no foam here, they're entirely rubberized. Uh, I was just expecting them to be entirely superior. Uh, and the other one has a power selective, how strong this is. This one is just a simple on off switch. But if we run this car, which has been the most successful in my testing, as you can see, it continuously runs with no major issues. Now, if we put the welly on, I can never get more than two cars running at a time on this. You see how they're all still running with no major problem. Oh, oh no, there we go, we lost one. But those two have carried on fighting the good fight. Uh, and they've all died. So yes, this is a far more recent crisscross crash set from the uh, 2007, I believe this one is from. Uh, it is more limited on the cars you can choose because it has the guards. I said these things should stop cars flying off the track. However, seeing the other one in effect, I believe the guards are probably what's best for the set in general. At least you get some crashes on this one and the cars will continue to go around the track unabated for quite a long time. I mean, if you put them side by side, I bet you this car will run a hell of a lot longer than the other one. Well, yes, that was a uh, comparison, wasn't it? Well, um, I don't really know what to say in closing conclusion because I wasn't expecting this set to be quite so disappointing. Um, I said the one major advantage of this set over the other one is you can run taller vehicles because there's no guards. But whether a taller vehicle will be any good, obviously not. No. Just no. No. Come on, Postman Pat. Do it for us. <laughs> wow. Come on, fire engine. They got round the corner at me. Come on, Chevy Van. Oh, he might do it, actually. He might go. Come on, Chevy Van. Yes, he got round the corner. Come on, Corgi Dumper Truck. <laughs> Percy, Percy, Percy. Oh dear, oh dear. Come on, Errol. Come on, CB57. Yes, you made it round. Come on, Laurie. Oh, you've got to more to get caught by the barriers. That's terrible.
So yes, I must conclude that there's probably something wrong with my set, that being the fact that it's over 20 years old. And um, the batteries are awful, even though they're brand new ones. They're obviously awful, because this is the best toy set in the universe, and you should all love and buy Hot Wheels. But yeah, realistically, um, I was going to do this lovely comparison between designs of 2017 and 1993, but unfortunately, the design from 2017, which again vastly disappoints me, is massively superior to the design of um, 1993, unfortunately, if only because the power base isn't supplying enough power for it to get around the car track, and it keeps coming loose. So, yeah. And it's terrible to set up. It's a horrible design and all these things that are really disappointing. So on that very, very disappointing note, I'm going to break this set down and um, I'm going to eat cold pizza. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. That's a complete waste of your time. And I will see you on the other side of the channel. Bye.